Joseph Chopa 4. Testimony of an Ex-Marine Agent 4. This testimony is the fourth part in a series of six. Please read the other five parts. This ship was coming out of the depths of the Congo River. It was so glorious and beautiful that many people collapsed on the ground due to emotion. I observed this non-earthly intelligence. This ship was above technological progress and human civilization. I was standing and watching this boat. I then saw three faceless demonic entities come out of the boat, like the one that had struck me with madness in the hospital. These entities did not have clothes on them. They had neither mouth, nose, eyes, nor ears. When they left the ship, they deployed a bridge reaching the river bank. Then all the people waiting on the shore boarded the ship. After we all entered, the boat submerged deeply into the river. The boat was moving at a prodigious speed. People were emotional while observing this angelic technology. We witnessed an advanced civilization and superior technology. In this boat, there was not only Congolese, but there were also Europeans, Chinese, Indians, Americans, and all races of the earth. The influence of the world of darkness has reached the four corners of the earth. Then after only a few seconds of traveling, we began to see massive and populated cities. I saw massive infrastructure. I saw markets, and people sell and buy. These kingdoms and cities were crowded and populated. We traveled around metropolitan cities and many advanced civilizations under the sea. But when I observed the population of these cities and kingdoms, I saw ordinary human beings. Then I saw people half man, half fish. We finally arrived in the submarine civilization. I observed from a distance, I saw the former president of my country. He was dressed in dirty clothes. In fact, he was like a slave there. He died several years ago. People sang for him while he was alive, but he was only a servant there. He recorded the names of the people who arrived in this kingdom. He drew blood from people with a syringe, and by the blood sample, he knew their name and identity. After this formality, we were taken to an auditorium. It is as if there was a meeting in this building. But I noticed the absence of my wife the mermaid. I was still touched to see our former head of state serving as a slave there. As I was thinking about it, suddenly my wife the mermaid appeared. She was delighted to see me in her kingdom. She greeted me and said, Joseph, I am very happy and excited that you have finally arrived in our kingdom. She kissed me and made a gesture with her hand. As a result, a half-fish man appeared. He was extremely handsome. It was my wife's brother. So my wife said to her brother, help my husband to visit our civilization in all the cities, including our infrastructure, our factories, our businesses, and our industries. So we went into a capsule that looked like a ship that was used as a car in this civilization. My wife said to her brother, show him our universe. So the man who was half fish took me to visit the cities of the submarine kingdom. We started the visit by going to see the royal family or the dominant clan. After traveling for a while, we arrived at a residence which was a royal palace. The protocol service opened the gate for us and we entered. Then I saw the king of this kingdom. I was told that he had many names, but he is commonly known as Akram. Mojas. In fact, in our country musicians like to be called by these names. This sovereign of the underwater world is also called Ben Adam, which means the second Adam. He appropriated the title of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is king of the mermaid clan of which my wife was part. The underwater kingdom is populated by different mermaid clans. This leader is one of the greatest leaders of the mermaid dynasty in this underwater civilization. In his royal castle, 
he noticed that the mermaids of this clan and the mermaids who served the royal family had tattoos on them. In fact, every clan or kingdom of mermaids under the sea is identified by their specific tattoos. Then the brother of my wife, the half-fish hybrid entity tells me, the tattoos on us show our membership of the Zimadam clan, and very soon this tattoo will be popular on the land and in your country. In the underwater world, each mermaid clan had their tattoo for identification, but many people on Earth wear the mermaid tattoo without knowing it as if they were members of a particular mermaid clan under the sea. Beloved, there is a mermaid spirit behind tattooing. If you have a tattoo on you, the spirit of a mermaid is in your life. It will influence you and control you. In that period, there was not yet this type of tattoo on earth. I recently attended a deliverance session of a sister, tattoo changed location in her body. After this visit, we left the royal residence of this dynasty, then after, we traveled to visit factories and manufacturing industries of several products and items that we use on the earth. First, we had to visit the dynasties responsible for these factories and industries. We first went to visit the Cabello dynasty. The king of this dynasty is the sovereign of our mermaid clan in charge of the production and manufacture of makeup products, jewelry and clothing. Beloved, there is hair made under the sea. This hair is named after the royal family of this kingdom of mermaids. Mermaids have a lot of hair reaching even their hips. This hair is cut and transported on the earth. I would advise the sisters to avoid artificial hair. These are mermaids hair transported to the surface of the earth. After that, we went to see the production and manufacture of other products and articles. The half-fish hybrid entity that was my wife's brother, told me about the seductive items that are exported to the earth, like eyelashes and nails, this was before these products emerged. People captured on the earth and imprisoned under the sea. Our visit continued. We arrived in a place where I saw people who were arrested and incarcerated. I was informed that these men were captured by the kingdom of darkness on earth. They are people who have disappeared from the earth mystically. Sometimes these people reappear on the earth. These people are held under the sea, I saw them with my own eyes. In fact, there are people who are captured on the earth and imprisoned under the sea, but they are replaced on earth by demons. Demons take the form and the likeness of these captives and come to the surface of the earth to live. There with the identity of these captives retained in the world of waters. These physical demons resemble and speak like them, but the real people are incarcerated. This is how demons come to earth physically. These demons are mistaken for the real person by the families of captives held in the underwater world. They are therefore integrated and accepted in these families. But with keen observation and discernment, you will notice inconsistencies and attitudes that do not relate to your real brother or sister held captive in the underwater world. Some of these people held captives are not dead. They just disappeared on earth and are slaves in the water world. After visiting the detention centers and prisons, we continued our visit to the underwater world. Nightwives and husbands. Then I saw a crowd of people in a room shaped like an auditorium of the university. It was actually a meeting of sorcerers and this meeting was animated and led by a hybrid demon. He was teaching mystical and esoteric knowledge to the assembly. I was curious and so I looked what was happening from the window of this auditorium when suddenly the hybrid demon that was dispensing mysterious knowledge appeared behind me in the blink of an eye. He invited me to join the crowd inside the auditorium because I was curious. So I sat in this meeting room. This demon taught the mystery of witchcraft and how to become a husband or a wife at night. I was surprised because I thought that night Wives and husbands were just the incubus and succubus demons. But the participants of this meeting 
were taught by the demon to function and operate as night wives and dusbans. So even human beings who are sorcerers can sexually molest people in dreams. Not only demons, but there are also normal men who come to molest and rape people in dreams. In this phenomenon of night wives and husbands, we are dealing with demons, but especially human sorcerers who unite with men and women in marital alliances without their consent, to molest them and abuse them sexually. When you are spiritually married to a spirit of the waters or a sorcerer, he considers you as his legal spouse and will make sure that you are not physically married. You will, therefore, remain single in the physical world since you are already married in the invisible world. Your spiritual partner will therefore regularly use your body through sexual practices, and will even drop odors into your body so that when physical men come to you they are repulsed. There are men and women who have odor problems, although they are clean. It should be noted that night wives and husbands work with the spirit of celibacy, and even if you have managed to get married know that your night husband will not give up. In reality, getting married physically is considered by your invisible partner to be a provocation. Beloved, there are men and women who come into marriage having night wives and husbands as Partners. This is a very dangerous problem since their invisible partners who are their night husband and wife will fight these marriages. This is the reason why many churches recommend that men and women go through deliverance sessions before marriage blessing. If by imprudence you marry a woman who has a night husband, you must understand that the battle between you and her night husband has just begun. What I am telling you is what I learned in the school of witchcraft in the world of waters. So be careful. If you are married to a woman who has a night husband, your wife's spiritual partner will have as a priority the destruction your marriage, since he considers that you are married to his wife. It will start by attacking the source of your income, I mean your job, to cause financial hardship in your home. If you are working and married to a woman who has a night husband, know that your wife's invisible husband will attack your job, so that you are not able to take care of your wife whom he considers his, and also to get the woman leave you because of these financial difficulties. Just after your wedding, financial difficulties will begin, and he knows that your wife will not tolerate poverty for a long time. Many people enter marriage while having spiritual partners. They night husband will not tolerate your husband, the night wife will hate your wife and influence her to rebellion, with the ultimate goal of divorce. After attacking the job or income of your husband, the night husband will attack the sexual organ of your husband so that he no longer satisfies you in bed. The night wife will make your wife cold in bed and will attack her organs of conception, and as a result, there will be complications. There are women who are virgins, who have never known men, yet they look like women who live with men because night husbands come to molest them and play with their bodies every night. The night husband will cause your husband to be weak in bed, he will suffer from sexual impotence. The night husband will ensure that your husband suffers from premature ejaculation and has odor problems in order to keep you away from your partner. Occultism and Esoteric Knowledge While I was visiting the underwater world, I was taught occultism and esoteric knowledge, which are subdivided into three. I was exposed to white magic practiced in the Western world. This Magic is practiced by Western elites, royal families, nobles, aristocrats, and those who are in charge of governments, the army, the economy. You cannot become governor or president without being initiated into this form of magic. People who are introduced to this form of magic are called the Illuminati and world finance. The second form of magic is called red magic, which is based on Blood and practiced in Asia. Red magic is practiced in Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam. The third form of magic is called black magic, 
which is very low and is practiced in Africa. It is low because it consists of killing a person and eating his flesh. Let us talk a little bit about white magic since the Western elites who practice it are those who are at the origin of wars in the world. In order to develop their country, they cause wars that represent a form of human sacrifice offered to fallen angels and demons. World conflicts caused by Western elites have spiritual roots, they consist of making human sacrifices. Through war, they offer human blood to the interdimensional entities that are the fallen demons and angels who feed on human flesh and blood. Human blood is offered to Lucifer through wars. The consequences associated with the practice of white magic can be noticed in global conflicts motivated by natural resources, such as gold, oil, and raw materials. Countries with these precious substances will fall victim to White magic and blood will flow. Consecration and enthronement as a triton or mermaid. At some point, after living with the mermaid, she said to me, Joseph, you need the throne, you need to be consecrated and enthroned as a triton. As you know, most of our musicians in Congo have become mermaids and newts. They have been consecrated and enthroned in the underwater world. Today, we will discover the process by which a human being becomes a mermaid or a newt. The mermaid said to me, Joseph, my father has instructed me that you must offer twenty-five women in sacrifice, so that our marriage may be consummated in the underwater world, that is. You will be consecrated and enthroned as Triton. She then tells me, there will be a lot of money. On your bed that day, you will take it and use it to lure these women. We will give you enough strength to sleep with twenty-five women in one day. These women will die and therefore you will be enthroned and consecrated as a triton in the marine world. Then the mermaid said to me, going from the fact that the name of Satan has five letters, you will sleep with five women whose name begins with the letter S, which is the first letter of the name of Satan. Then you will offer five other women whose name begins with the letter A which is the second letter of the name of Satan, then five others whose name begins with T, which is the third letter of the name of Satan, and so on. The blood of all these women will be collected to write the name of Satan during the enthronement and consecration ceremony in the Aquarius world. Then the mermaid said to me, you will need strength to sleep with twenty-five women, so I'm going to send you to our churches. I mean three of our churches because we have many. The mermaid sent me first to the Catholic Church. When I went there, I was received by the priest who said to me, Welcome Joseph. I was informed by the mermaid of your arrival and I was waiting for you, this is what you need for your mission. The priest gave me a rosary, then he said to me, This rosary will vibrate when you are around the woman who has been targeted and programmed to be sacrificed. After the Catholic Church the mermaid sent me to the mosque. She tells me that the god Allah is the collaborator of their master Lucifer. So I went to the mosque. The imam of this mosque welcomed me warmly because he was in communication with my wife the mermaid. This imam gave me a series of Islamic prayers called Dua. He instructed me to recite these prayers after sacrificing each victim, in order to veil my face and avoid the vengeance of the spirits of these victims. Indeed, when an innocent man is killed, he dies with the image of the face of his executioner in his soul. And this image is kept in his memory. To prevent my image from being perceived and kept in the memory of my victims, I had to recite these Islamic prayers. When the victim knows his Executioner his soul will seek justice against the person who killed him, as was the case between Cain and Abel. Then the mermaid sent me to the third church, which is a sect called Kimbanguist. There they gave me two handkerchiefs, a green and a white. I had to wipe the victim's face to remove my face from her memory. After that, the mermaid said to me, Joseph, you will start sleeping with five women who will be your victims, but not just any, 
only those who are targeted and programmed, since these women have profiles and things that connect them to us. There are people who are born into families that have spiritual problems, alliances, pacts, and links that connect them to the dark world. These covenants are like open doors giving free access to the world of Satan. It is written in the book of Ezekiel 16 5 The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, confront Jerusalem with her detestable practices and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says to Jerusalem, Your ancestry and birth were in the land of the Canaanites, your father was an Amorite, and your mother a Hittite. On the day you were born your cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water to make you clean, nor were you rubbed with salt or wrapped in cloths. No one looked on you with pity or had compassion enough to do any of these things for you. Rather, you were thrown out into the open field, for on the day you were born you were despised. The mermaid informed me that there are people living on the earth of which we have free access in their life because of their origin, their customs and traditions, their ancestral lineage and genealogy. Many people come from ancestral lineages linked to practices, customs, traditions, and alliances that are open doors and free access to the devil's world. Children of God must disconnect themselves from loads and spiritual heritage of their families, and from family alliances. They must cut the links and connections connecting them to ancestral spirits and genetic heritage. When the day of my mission arrived, in the morning when I woke up I saw a lot of money on my bed as the mermaid had promised. I was supposed to spend that money on the same day. So I hired a taxi for the whole day so as to be able to move from one neighborhood to another in the city. Since I did not want the driver to report to the police, I sent a demon of death to kill the driver at the end of the day as soon as my mission was over. This was to avoid the police. Grace be with you all who have Jesus Christ as Master. Continue in Part 5